Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually seen him play Ike in a tournament. He he has, he's just never done it on stream. Oh, okay. Well, I, yeah, explains it. <laughs> yeah. His, his Lucario is notably better. It's just some matchups Ike is pretty good in. Wow. Yep, going ham. <laughs> Zach actually did practice the spacey matchup since his loss oh. against Jeff. He was very upset that was at his loss. Very impressive. Yeah. Wow. I thought he was a goner right there. No, nope, yep, if he has a super, he can dodge out of his uh, up B. He does waste his aura, but. Huh. It's, I uh, did not know that. Yeah, I mean, he can cancel his up B or down B into anything if he, wastes, if he uses an aura. He's <laughs> pretty good. Every time I commentate with you, I learn something new. See right there, he did down me to forward smash. He was trying to cross up. Uh, Jack had a good start, but this isn't looking too good. And now we'll seal it off. Yep. Yeah. Doesn't have an aura, though. That's actually a very big deal for Lucario in neutral. One of his best approaches is uh, down B to any move. And uh, otherwise, yeah, he kind of relies on jab or dash attack or down tilt. Those are, those are okay approaches, but not great. Oh, he did have an aura. I don't think he noted, noticed that because he got it right at that last combo. It's okay. He can... Probably, yep, like I was going to say. Only takes a little bit to gimp Falco. And it doesn't look like Falco knows uh, quite how to DI Lucario yet, so it's going to be a big deal. That's one of the things I enjoy about PM is like watching people learn the matchup. Yeah. When they play. It, it can be frustrating for some melee people, but it is actually, I mean, Melee was old at 1.2, or I mean new at 1.2. <laughs> every every game goes through a stage where people are learning the matchups. Yeah, but the thing with the PM is that they actually can sit there and update it, so it kind of changes it every now and then. And yeah, there's a there's actually going to be a pretty there's going to be a nerf apocalypse on uh, recoveries in the next game apparently. The next yeah, match. I'm actually kind of oh in uh, the next update or yeah the no, next okay. update. I think that's kind of smart, like. Yeah. Some recoveries are okay, but a lot of them are so good that it, it's hard to tell if there's a disadvantage to being the one that has been sent off, if that makes sense. And that's yeah. not a good sign. Oh. oh. That's just a weird, dumb brawl thing that doesn't actually hit you. He did perfect shield reflect. It just oh. kind of bounces. <laughs> I don't know why they don't take it off. It does affect doubles, however. Uh, which is one cool thing. You can intentionally try to reflect some, your partner's projectile upwards. Oh. Yeah. Because it can, it can bounce in several directions depending on until you tilt your shield and stuff. So if you tilt it down, it'll... Yeah, you could you can watch up. it up. But it's it's inconsistent, which is the only thing that's kind of dumb about the mechanic. Oh, and this is very, very close. Shit. Wow. Oh, it's, uh, <laughs> excuse the language. <laughs> it's been happening all night. I am uh, quite surprised that Spirit Bomb didn't break his uh, Firebird. <laughs> Jack drowning about the, <laughs> the Firebird not getting hit out of hit by uh, Spirit Bomb or our Aura Bomb. <laughs> I kind of don't blame him. I was pretty surprised by that. <laughs> He's just going on about it. <laughs> He is not like Falco. Yeah. I feel like he's a very hated character. He uh, is. I mean... Anybody who has to face him just always hates it. A, a full-stage transcendent projectile kind of throws a wrench in your neutral game. It's it's hard to deal with. I'm not... It's not necessarily overpowered, but it's one of the hardest things to adapt to if you're, if you're not a melee player. Even if you are a melee player, like, when yeah. you first get it, it's like, what do you do? Yeah. <laughs> Most of the time, the advice is don't get hit by the laser. I guess. Um, <laughs> Which is, like, it seems I mean, like a cop-out advice, but, like, yeah, it makes sense. You just kind of have to avoid it, either, like, power shield it or, like... If you're a Peach main like me, you just like hover over it. Yeah, see, Peach is out of made there. <laughs> yeah. And Jigglypuff isn't too bad either, but... Or Kirby, if you really want to <laughs> go hard mode oh, on that. Oh man, he went hard. Unfortunately, Shine is going to break him out of some of the combos that Lucario is not used to 
uh, having people break. The edge guard hasn't worked for him for a, for yeah. a while. I I have always told him that Aura Bomb is his worst super. I don't think it's very useful. Um, I have a friend who likes to throw off the aura, grab it, and throw into it. Yeah, it, it is cool, but unfortunately, like, it's not like you're gonna combo into it. You are, then they know you're going for the grab, you know? Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, if you do it every time, it becomes very predictable. I mean, it's the only thing you should do, and so, like, they know exactly what you're going for. <laughs> yeah. Unless if, like, I, I guess you can switch it up between, like, the edge guarding and, like, a grab. But then they know it's going to be one of two things. If they're off the edge, it's going to be coming at them more. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't mean for off the edge. I just meant in general, like, yeah. if they know you're hunting for a grab. Huh. I wonder, uh, oh, oh, that oh, time oh. it worked. So. Yeah. <laughs> Commentator's curse. Yeah. Say something doesn't work, and all of a sudden it does. Uh, I'm not saying it's useless. It actually might be okay in this matchup because his up B is so slow. Right. Falco's. If he if he's not going to be using side B, also maybe he's going for scaring him from illusion. I can I can see yeah. that or whatever it's called, phantasm. Yeah. For Falco. Yeah, I usually just call it illusion. Yeah, it's technically a different oh. name for each uh, for Fox and Falco. Yeah. They try to go for the alliteration sometimes. Um, uh, he went I'd actually a little like too to early. see him fade out the illusion and then throw it off. It might not come out in time. It's a pretty big start out. Yeah. Start out. Uh, uh, he lost an aura there trying to down be super at him. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Uh, Lucario's down tilt is one of the few moves he has that combos very well without the hot hit cancel system. He can just jump up in the air. It's a, it's a meteor that seems to... I don't think it actually hits aerial opponents, so it won't hit you into the ground, but it hits grounded opponents with a meteor and oh. uh, knocks them up. It's very useful. And that can be... Oh, geez. Easily comboed into... Into Nair or really anything, honestly. Uh, it's one of his most reliable kill setups. Oh, see if uh, no. Yeah, actually, I, I'm thinking Aura might actually Aura Bomb might actually be a good idea. See, it forced him to recover high. If he had actually been waiting for him, he could have neared him. Yeah, like if he uh, focuses on trying to. Oh, but then. It has a shield on the front of that. So can... Well, yeah, the hitbox seems to beat it up, but I think it's only if it's going straight at it. Oh, yeah. oh good game, Jack. Uh, That's 1-1? One, one. Yep. Yep. I kinda, does the shield scale? Um, or not scale? It's not um, shield, it's, a, it's the hitbox. I'm not really sure. I think it might be like, depending on the angle it hits when yeah. he com he's coming at the orange, it protects him better. Uh, yeah. I mean, he. I know he has less disjoint dead on, but apparently he has enough disjoint dead on. It might be slightly less on the diagonals. And then on the sides, the disjoint is pretty big. Um, Three, two, I don't know. One, go! For Firebird, that is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he's just standing there, <laughs> taking the lasers to the face. He's trying to perfect shield them. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Unfortunately uh, for Lucario, he has the smallest shield relative to his character size in the game. Uh, so it's like Game & Watch in Melee. Yeah. Uh, and that works! Wow. I mean, actually, I, I think he might have been dead no matter what. So it was maybe just a voice of war, but whatever. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I've been uh, trying to practice power shielding the lasers and stuff, but lasers are hard. I would I would practice on a different projectile first, honestly. Yeah, yeah probably. Should. Even even though it's like probably the most useful projectile to power shield, there's a lot of projectiles that are a lot easier to learn on. Yeah, and as a peach, I can just like float above them and. It kind of gives Falco a harder time. Yeah. But you can still get hit by him. But if you're floating, you can't shield, obviously. But. Oh, interesting choice. 
decided to aura cancel his up B just so that he could immediately follow up and he managed to get the side B. Jack and I have both been practicing, practicing power shielding a lot. It's, uh, it's helping them a little. Now, do they have um, the 20XX hack bag sort of thing for... For Project yeah. M, unfortunately, no. Although you can basically just... You can just practice it melee if you want. Well, yeah. It still so helps. Yeah. Shielding is the same thing, so... Yeah. Uh, shields come out at the same rate. And yep. PM as in. Yep, and, uh, and the power shields work. Or the power shield reflect is two frames, just like melee. Okay. Now, I feel like he needs to prepare for that more. Like, yeah, instead of, instead of firing another aura, he should get ready to counter his remaining options. Like, Because that eliminates quite a... There, that's... Uh, yeah, he, he probably should just wait him, wait for him on stage. Like, he's not gonna sweet spot the ledge, so he doesn't really need to do that up B thing. I, the the orchestra kind of covers that on its own. The giant one, at least. Yeah. Or at least it makes him scared to do it if he's high. That would be a uh, the best move to try to guard that high. High recovery, do you think? Um, honestly, just wait and probably try to nair him because he's gonna seal the deal. It's uh, it's got enough disjoint. Honestly, Fair has the most disjoint for Lucario, so it's probably the safest option. But it's not nair is not much worse uh, so in terms of safety, and it's much more reward. So you throw out the, um, the shadow Pro ball, jump up in a uh, fair or nair. Yeah, probably, probably kind of wait near the stage. Um, edge until like Firebird gets launched. Oh, this is very close. Oh, that is. Oh, oh. my God, that was gonna be it. Oh. oh.